But here's the catch. This doesn't have to feel like a chore. It's about carving out time for connection, whatever that looks like. So my partner and I do sometimes, or actually, no, my, my partner and I do something that I've always told myself I would never do. Uh, being in a, a hopeless romantic, I said I would never schedule sex. I found that idea mechanical and forced. So now with a four and a half year old, scheduling sex is how we get it in. It is, I wanted to say pun intended so bad, but I, I'm trying to stay away from the low hanging fruit. I'm trying to stay away from the, uh, that's what she said jokes. I still have that tug, but I'm, I'm trying to not do that. Sorry. Okay. If it's not on our shared calendar, it just doesn't happen. And that's just life, right? And I've ex accepted that. But it doesn't mean the quote-unquote afternoon delight has to be mechanical or forced. I actually see it on the calendar and I look forward to it. I, it gives me time to set the intention. So practical example, set a date night that's just for the two of you where the focus is a connection rather than pressure to have sex. Maybe you cook dinner together, take a bath, go on a motorcycle ride. That's my favorite. Or spend time talking and cuddling. Allow intimacy to build naturally from the exchange. Okay, why does that matter? Let's face it, life gets busy very fast. If you don't intentionally make time for each other, intimacy can fall by the wayside. Wayside? I just had a revelation. I thought it was, all this time, I thought it was waste side. Like waste. Like it's trash. It's wayside. Sorry. By scheduling time for connection, you, prior you prioritize your relationship even, even in the middle of a hectic life. This keeps the coal in the fire and the connection strong.